Vehicle after vehicle driving through flooded waters getting stuck in the middle of the road. Plus thousands without power tonight after trees topple power lines in Butler County. Good evening. Weather pictures from all across Cakeland came flooding in of drivers getting their vehicles stuck in the flooded waters. This picture taken near Douglas. And another shown stalled vehicle out east near Harry and Rock. There were several stalled vehicles. Several all across town. Cake's Brian Ramsdale shows us one of the hardest hit areas in Wichita. As the streets of Wichita flooded, cars stalled out of that intersection. Good news for the people, though, there's a group of Good Samaritans to help push them out. I was just driving down the street. A whole bunch of water started going inside my car. This intersection and many others were flooded with feet of water, and cars kept trying to go through it. I wasn't expecting, and all of a sudden I was in it. Pretty risky, I'd think. If they flood out, there's no place to go. These three cars all stuck. That was until these good Samaritans came to help. The poor things, they're just stranded. What else are they going to do, right? They can't really push the car alone, so to, yeah, that's what we do every year. Catherine and Evelyn Boyd says this area is known to flood. We've had 10, 15 cars stall out. They don't let them drive. They're going to have a lot more money in mechanics bills. You know, be cautious. Don't drive through the water like this. Herrero Baruman, who abandoned his vehicle, learned that the hard way. Yep, I love that car. It's ruined now. Water's inside the motor. There's really nothing they can do about it. The best advice we can give, don't drive down flooded streets. Reporting near downtown Wichita, I'm Brian Ramsdale, Cake News. So what should you do if your car stalls on a flooded road? Well, do not try to restart the car. Water in the engine or transmission could ruin it. Start to dry out your car as soon as possible. If the car doesn't dry out quickly, mold could start growing. And if the water was up to the seats, there is a chance it will be okay. If the water gets up to the dashboard, though, odds are there will be expensive damage. And remember, folks, it only takes six inches of water to stall some cars.